What is up guys? I just dropped off my suit at the uh, dry cleaners because it's time for my medical school interview on Tuesday. So now I'm starting to get prepared. The next step into getting prepared is to get rid of uh, the shag on top. I call it uh, my hobo style haircut because I look like I you know, beg for money for a living right now. So I am <laughs> definitely gonna clean up and uh, come back at you guys looking fresh. I'm excited, I'm ready to go. So let's get to it. I'll see you guys in just a second. Ooh. All right, there it is, everybody. Uh, came out, fresh cut, feeling good. This cut was so fresh, I actually uh, managed to change outfits. Oops. Okay. But, um, no, actually what happened was I made an appointment, so it's actually tomorrow. But there it is, guys. I uh, got rid of the hobo look, and now I'm ready for my medical school interview. So that is another <laughs> another step done, and I am glad to have that uh, out of the way. That's one less thing to stress about now. It is just uh, it's time, I guess, for the airport part of the vlog. So I'll see you guys at the uh, airport later. up guys we just arrived at the hotel we're gonna be going in getting ready for the interview um, I'm gonna be going in and getting ready for the interview she's gonna be sleeping in yep. so here's the <laughs> thing I'm going to actually be taking the time and I'm sorry I'm losing my voice I'm gonna be taking the time here to get my mind right and to prepare for the interview then after I finish my interview I will come back and talk to you guys about how <clears throat> excuse me about how it went um, and I, I'm sure I can't share too many details about the, like what actually happened, but I can give you guys an overview of what it was like and what to expect for yourselves too. So hopefully I'll get my voice back next time I check in <laughs> with you guys, and uh, I will see you in the next clip yeah. later. All right, everybody, we are back here with the next clip. From last clip to this clip was actually a pretty big amount of time. It was probably about three weeks since uh, you guys saw me at my interview. Reason being is because I actually got sick. I got really sick. I lost my voice. I couldn't speak. I had a temperature, a virus, uh, not coronavirus. All jokes aside, guys, now that I'm better and I got you know everything set up again and I'm back in the mood, Nothing's gonna stop me from making these videos for you guys. So, without further ado, let's begin. 10 tips that are going to rock your next interview. Let's get started, guys. Tip number one to kill your medical school interview. Practice good posture. All right, guys, when you're sitting, your back is not to touch the back of the chair, okay? Just sit straight, look at your interviewer, smile, be welcoming, be warm. Good posture. Don't slouch in your chair. Don't lean. Hands on your face. Uh, don't be playing with your hands. And at some points, guys, you don't even want to be sitting with your hands together in any way, shape, or form. Sometimes it's okay to speak expressively and express yourself. That's I'm getting off on a tangent. Just don't look nervous. Sit right. Practice good posture. Look confident. Look comfortable. When you're walking, walk with your chest up. Don't slouch or hunch. Don't make yourself appear small and and intimidated. Let them know that this is easy as kick. 
Tip number two, make a good first impression. When you meet your interviewer, have a firm handshake. Look at them in the eyes, make eye contact and smile. Introduce yourself, tell them about you, tell them where you come from, tell them something interesting about yourself, something that will stick in their mind. My go-to, I play music, I have a YouTube channel, I work out, I don't know, but, but definitely the first two, music, YouTube channel, they'll be like, ah, oh, that's the musical YouTube guy, and then they'll think I have a music channel. Well, you can't win them all, but just make a good first impression. And when you're there while you're at it, speak calmly, speak slowly. Don't let them think that you are nervous, that you are anxious, that this is in any way. I mean, okay, yes, you know, they might know that at some way you do have nerves kicking in, but at the same time, you don't really want to show it. You want to appear like you're relaxed. When you're a doctor, you're going to be talking to patients about life and death. You know, in retrospect, an interview is really nothing compared to what you're going to be doing at your job. Just be calm, relax, go up there on time, make a good first impression, know where your interview room is, make sure your hotel is close so that's one less stress factor that you can eliminate, and that's it. Just, just be in control of any factor that you can and get there, make a good first impression. Number three, reread your personal statement. Listen, this one here, it, it blows my mind how many interviewees don't realize that the person that they invited to interview is the person that they read about in your personal statement. Sound as much like that person as possible. If you told a story and you gave a certain age range, you know, for a certain age, then you better get that age right. If something happened to you when you were six and you're like, oh, it happened to me when I was actually nine during their interview, you know, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Read your personal statement. Make sure you know what you said. Make sure you know what to talk about, what you mentioned. Bring it up. Synchronize yourself to personal statement you, which should be yourself anyways. Don't lie on your personal statement. Don't do it. Boom! Number four, this tip is a little specific. It's gonna be more specific to interviewees at the younger end of the spectrum. Watch how you refer to yourself. You're already battling implicit bias that these interviewers have, that you're too young to be interviewing to medical school. Guys, the average age of acceptance into medical school is 25 or 26, according to AAMC. For my 19 year olds, 20 year olds, 21 year olds, even 22 year olds, you need to show to them that you are mature, that you're an adult, that you handle your business. For example, common question that can get asked, and actually, I actually took this from a really, really helpful YouTube video. It was a really long one. I'll link it in the description below. In this video, the professor says, you are already facing this bias that you are too young to be applying to medical school. So, for example, they might ask you certain questions to gauge how you think of yourself and whether you view yourself as a child or whether you view yourself as an adult, because it's important. It's definitely an important distinction to make because you want people who think at least that they're independent, think that they can handle being away from their families, they can handle the stresses of medical school. It's really important that you paint a picture for yourself as a mature, independent, functioning adult. For example, one way that they can do this without you realizing that they're doing this is by asking you, tell me about your family. A lot of people will answer, I have my mom, my dad, I have a brother, sister, we live in the house, uh, we adopted like three dogs, uh, or rescued, <laughs> rescued three dogs. Um, you know, you can adopt dogs too, I guess. But what you're saying there is that you think of yourself as the child of your parents. You think of yourself as a child. And let me tell you why that's not good, guys, because at the end of the day, you are showing them that your identity is that of a child. That's it. That is your identity. You are the child of your parents. You want to show them that you think of yourself as an adult, that you that your identity is that of an adult. Another example to answer this question, maybe a better way, gauge it for yourself. So interviewer will say, OK, tell me about your family. Now, your answer will be. I don't have a family yet, but I hope to have a family one day. As a matter of fact, right now I'm happily single, and one day I hope to find a relationship where I can grow it and start my own family, or I hope that this partner, my significant other, is the right person for me, that one day we can start a family of our own. Boom. You just told them that you think of yourself as an adult who's capable of starting their own family, that you're independent, 
You don't view yourself as the child of anybody. You view yourself as your own adult. Think about it like this for the younger people out there. People ask your, that question to your parents. What would your parents, how would your parents answer that question? They talk about their kids. They talk about their, their, their husband or wife. They talk about the family that they have, that they started, they created. That is how they view themselves. They view themselves as independent adults, family makers, the breadwinners, bread bearers, or whatever you freaking call them. That's, how, that's the impression you want to give them, okay? During an interview, you control the way they think they perceive you, okay? Their impression of you is completely based on the way that they think they perceive you. You are in control of that. You might as well refer to yourself as an adult. If you're here for medical school, you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a leader. You need to, you need to be, you need to be on top of your game. Okay. All right. Moving forward. Number five, show enthusiasm when you speak. Don't be so nervous. Don't answer your questions with barely an answer don't give them a dead answer like i can't think of one off the top of my head guys but short answers that don't lead into further conversation no especially don't answer yes or no unless they're specifically looking for yes or no okay just speak with enthusiasm smile eye contact use your hands i touched on this earlier guys express yourself there's nothing wrong with expressing yourself it makes you look like a person yes you don't want to be you know, crazy, you don't want the rapper hands, but you want to speak with your hands. So guys, if you haven't already, then please just take a moment to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss another video. And feel free to uh, leave a comment and tell me what other like medical school related videos you'd like me to make. Ask me questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. Leave a like on this video if you thought the information was helpful. And with that said, let's go on. Step number six, no brainer research the medical school that you're going to find something interesting about them find something that you are passionate about that they offer it could be a core value of theirs it could be something that they do that opportunities that they have for their students it could be the location do your research and talk about it let them know why you want to go to this specific medical school over the other medical schools that have interviewed you guys. Because if you're like me, then you've only been interviewed by two and you're still waiting and everything is okay. I can't stress this enough. Ask good questions. Please, please ask good questions. Don't leave your interview without asking any questions at all. It makes you seem like you're just there to be there, that you don't really care about the school, that there's nothing that interested you you're shooting yourself in the foot, guys. You're not gonna get accepted if you don't ask questions. Think of thoughtful questions. Here's an example of a thoughtful question. Okay, so I see that one of your missions is to serve public health, and I noticed that your medical school has a program where students can go to Mexico to help serve uh, these underserved communities that are there that are in bad need of health care. Uh, this is something that is very exciting to me. I am very passionate about rural communities, about giving health care. And I want to know, how soon is this opportunity available for students? Boom! That's it. You've done it. You have showed them that this is why you want to go here. Because of public service. It's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard. Take an hour or two hours and go to that medical school's website. Watch some videos from students maybe who have YouTube channels that go to that school if you're lucky enough to find some. Just do your research. Do your research and ask good questions because it's only going to put you ahead of all the other applicants that are there. Step number seven, if you wanna kill your medical school interview, don't memorize your answers, guys. You're gonna sound unauthentic. They're gonna know it's gonna be bad. Don't be the loser who reads things off of a list. But seriously, all jokes aside, if you had to memorize the answer to one question and one question only, the only one that you should be memorizing is why do you want to be a doctor? Have a vague idea of the points you wanna hit. Make sure you hit those points while you're giving your spiel. You'll be good, you'll be solid. Everything else, don't memorize your answers. You know what I did before my interview, the morning before? I just had my girlfriend read me some uh, practice MMI questions 
on the internet just to get my brain going, to get my, my thought process churning. And by the time I got there, my brain was already warmed up. I was already, you know, put on my toes to answer my girlfriend rapidly and think on my feet. I was ready to go. I felt like I was already warmed up. Just don't memorize your answers. You'll be fine. Don't give in to the panic. I feel like the exorcist is here. I'm thinking my lights blinked. Holy shit. Out on me right now. Don't, don't, don't. After the video, after the video. Boys, for all right. Step number eight, uh, guys. I want to apologize if the lighting. My whole life is falling apart. Apparently, apparently. A whole goddamn life is falling apart. All right, guys, where was I? Step number eight, relax the night before your interview. Only thing you should be doing, in my opinion, is just reading your personal statement, okay? Read it like five to 10 times. Make sure you know it. Relax, that's it, you're done, nothing else. Go have yourself a drink. Don't get hungover, don't get drunk. Just have a drink to help you help you relax, go to bed early if you can. If you can't, don't stress about it. That's why God made coffee. When you wake up in the morning, do your business, you take a shower if you need to get, if you need to wake up, then go. But guys, don't stress yourselves out the night before. Get something nice to eat, treat yourself. You guys have come this far, you'll be fine. You've got this. Listen, Becky, listen, Chad, Brad, you've got this. End of discussion. All right, guys. Step nine, I kind of touched on this earlier because I got excited, but plan ahead, okay? Make sure your hotel is close to the medical school that you're going to. Make sure that you already know the building it's gonna be in. Make sure you have an Uber. If you can get there the day before, then do that so that way you can go to the you know to the campus and see, see everything, see where the building is. If you are lucky enough to find a student, then you can talk to a student about it. Uh, you know, ladies, make sure that you are dressed professionally, uh, heels, you know, I really can't give you girls this much advice. I'm not really qualified. It's, you know, there's definitely other YouTubers out there who can, but, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's it guys. Just be prepared. Eliminate any stress that you can. Okay. If there's something that you can eliminate, so you don't have to stress about it, then do it. All right, number 10, if you guys have made it this far, then please leave a like below. Let me know that you've got to this point, guys. Step number 10 to kill your interview, be proud of how far you've come. Guys, you are in the hardest professional profession that there is. This is one of the biggest commitments of your life. You are giving up four years of income to work your ass off, to study your ass off, to stress your ass off, to, to make you think, why the hell are you doing this in the begin with? But you're here because you love it, because you love the pain and it's fine. Embrace it guys, embrace it. Be proud of yourselves. You've come this far and I for one, am proud of you guys. So good job, okay? You got this. If you're watching this a week, a month, a day, an hour before your interview, then I am sending you all the good positive vibes, all the good energy, all the good karma. You got this. Just be yourself. That's the person they loved in the first place. And you'll do great. And I can't wait to see you, future doctor.